Hey folks, Rich Heilman here, coming to you from SAP TechEd Hands-On Lab here in Las Vegas. So there's a ton of news coming out of the opening keynote with Jurgen Mueller. And I, for one, really love to see ABAP mentioned in TechEd keynotes. In Jurgen's keynote, he announced that ABAP Cloud, which most of you know as our internal project named Steampunk, is now available in all s hana editions from 2022 onwards, which includes s hana Cloud Public and Private Editions, and even s hana On-Premise. This means that ABAP Cloud is your preferred development model going forward, whether it's on SAP BTP or s hana leveraging public SAP APIs for accessing SAP data, public SAP extension points to extend standard functionality, and of course, leveraging ABOP development tools and the ABOP RESTful application programming model for building Fiori apps and services. As Jurgen suggested in his keynote, take advantage of the learning opportunities available here at SAP TechEd Hands-On Lab, and of course, virtually online to ramp up your knowledge around ABOP Cloud. For more information around ABOP Cloud and what it all means to you, the ABOP developer, Check out Boris Gephardt's blog post. Link in the show notes. I hope that you joined and enjoyed SAP TechEd's opening keynote. If you did, then you've seen a demo I presented about one of the ways SAP HANA Cloud enables building intelligent data apps by generating SQL or ABAP design time artifacts from machine learning models trained using SAP HANA embedded ML capabilities. I presented as well how the SAP HANA Cloud business data and external spatial data sources can be unified in memory for instant access and accelerated processing. One of the prominent examples leveraging this capability is SAP Partner S3, now running the ArcGIS application on SAP HANA Cloud, eliminating the need to have multiple business or geospatial systems. Another announcement from this week is a better availability of a unified user experience in SAP Analytics Cloud, which combines self-service data discovery and composable analytics. With this new unified user experience, data analysts no longer need to decide between creating a new story or a new analytic application. They simply start with a story that they can be extended with scripting, custom widgets, and other developer capabilities. Hola, SAP developers. A new runtime for integration suite was announced today. It is called the Edge Integration Cell. This is the on-premise version of the integration runtime. It is available on beta now for SAP Integration Suite customers and general availability is planned for 2023. It supports three integration use cases, classic on-premise process orchestration, on-premise API-led integrations, and on-premise event bridge to integrate event brokers. Keep an eye on this as you'll be hearing a lot more about it next year. There's a new open source project in town and it goes by the name of BTP Service Metadata. It's just been released in time for SAP TechEd this week and it could become the cornerstone of your exploration and management of resources on BTP, SAP Business Technology Platform. It's an Apache 2 licensed project, it's on GitHub and it provides a rich layer of metadata for all the resources on SAP BTP. These metadata files are generated on a regular basis and made available in the repo and one of the things it is already doing is providing the basis for the JSON schemas used in the BTP setup automator. Check out the repo on GitHub and also the blog post from Rui.